world's first autonomous 7 megawatt hour electric cargo ship to make first voyage with zero crew on board. This thing is essentially the Terminator on the ocean, all right? A little scary at first, I know, but really, really, really important, right? Obviously, our society is going AI, this, AI, that, you know, computer-driven cars, trucks will be autonomous soon, and now ships will be autonomous, but shipping container ships, right? They're, they're very important. They move roughly, you know, 90% of the world's traffic. If you buy something off eBay, Amazon, uh, sex.com, if you buy something off there, it's coming off a container ship, right? <laughs> Uh, no matter where you get it, it's usually coming off a container ship. Now, they're pretty dirty container ships, right? They're really filthy. You're filthy. You're so filthy. Container ships produce pollution. How much pollution, right? Well, uh, shipping containers, ships, produce more greenhouse gas emissions than some small countries. According to the Essential Daily briefing, it has been estimated that just one of these container ships, the length of around six football pitches, can produce the same amount of pollution as 50 million cars. Wow. How is that even possible? So look, yes, it's obviously important to, to, to switch away from fossil fuels, diesel and, and gasoline, right? Diesel would obviously be used for these container ships. So going the electric route uh, is very important. Now, th now this is actually a mock-up. They actually did a little demo of this thing working in a huge tank uh, before they actually built the real thing. That's kind of cute and kind of cool, right? Uh, we'll go back to that one in a second, but you've been reading from this article today. Let's do it right now, right? Uh, a Norwegian company called Yara International claims to have created uh, where are we? The world's first zero emission ship, which is really awesome, right? That can uh, also transport cargo autonomously, right? No one on board. What will the safety ris risks or the, or the safety be on this you know, regarding well, safety? Uh, time will tell, right? But the Yara Birkeland electric cargo ship was first conceptualized in 2017, but it now looks to make its first voyage with no crew members on board later this year in Norway. Now, Yarra International is, sounds like the Yarra River in Melbourne. Yarra, the Yarra River <laughs> is a Norwegian company that was founded in 1905. Interesting, right? Going pack, uh, past them two. Now, to combat, to, to combat uh, toxic sulfur oxide and nitrogen gas you know, oxide type thing, emissions from diesel engines on the ships, the Norwegian company created Yarra marine technologies in 2017 uh the company began con conceptualizing i like that word conceptualizing the possibility of an autonomous fully electric ship to rid you know toxic emissions altogether right it looks like they've absolutely succeeded right with this ship boom there it is right there we'll quickly show that in a second today the yara Birkeland is afloat in norway named after the norwegian researcher who discovered the ability to add nitrogen to fertilizer. Boom! <laughs> uh, now, the electric cargo ship looks to complete its first journey without a single crew member on freaking board. Look at this bad boy. All right, now this is obviously, like I said, this is obviously where the technology is going. We're all heading to a society where, you know, we can relax while the robots do the job for us, which in a way is good, in a way is bad, but regardless how you see it, that's obviously what's going to happen and is slowly trickling through society. Just look at uh, Amazon's warehouses now that are run by, you know, a thousand bots or something going backwards and forwards zigzags. You've, you may have seen that, right? Amazon warehouses, you know, car companies like Tesla or, or Ford, they've been making cars with robots for like 30, 40 years now, obviously. So yeah, it's just going to keep happening and happening. What's the answer? Universal basic income? Interesting, right? Anyway, uh, reading on this, Yara's electric cargo ship to make first autonomous voyage this year, according to a report from CNN. Fake news. <laughs> Should we even read this anymore? I don't know. It's fake news, right? The Yara Birkeland electric cargo ship will make its first autonomous voyage between two Norwegian towns later this year. While there will be no crew on board the cargo ship, uh, it's probably safe to keep keep an eye on it, right? You know, it will still be closely monitored for, uh, from the control. I can't read this properly. 
from the three control centers on shore. Thanks, teleprompter. <laughs> to begin, the loading and unloading of the ship will require humans. However, however, uh, according to a guy called John, uh, plant manager for Yara factory in this place, uh, Norway, most all operations will eventually operate through autonomous technology. This will eventually include autonomous cranes and straddle carriers that help move uh, containers on and off the ship, right? Everything is going to be autonomous and it's going to reduce prices down a lot, which is good, all right, for us, the consumers, right? The focus on autonomy lowers the cost of operation for those transporting the goods, right? While the fully electric cargo ship simultaneously battles carbon emissions. Awesome. It's a win-win situation. Look at this beast. Now, mind you, this ship is very small in comparison to other ships. Maybe the dick ship that you have, you guys may remember. Remember that one, the Ever Given? The Ever Given. Who can forget that name that, that blocked the Suez Canal? I'm pretty sure it was that one, right? Well, I'm going to do a comparison of these two ships in a second. But just remember that this ship is the first generation of a very long generation of ships to come. Uh, things obviously get better for, in time. Just look at the first iPhone, right? An absolute piece of shit in today's world, right? <laughs> uh, now, where are we? Uh, I can't even find it anymore. Okay, there we go. So, the electric cargo ship features a 7 megawatt hour battery capacity powering two, not one, not three, but two, 900 kilowatt uh, pods, these swivel pods that swivel around, I'm pretty sure, as well as two 700, uh, sorry, two 700, yeah, kilowatt tunnel thrusters. Awesome. So much thrust. You can feel the action, right? Delivering a top speed of 13 knots or 50 miles per hour. All right. The current cargo capacity on the Yarra uh, is 120 20 foot equivalent or, or 60, 40 shipping containers. Does that make any sense to you? I'm just going to say 40 shipping containers. Is that right? Or oh, 60. No, hang on. What is it? Okay. So it is. It's 60 shipping containers. It's mm, mm, not the best. I will show you in a second. The zero emission ship was originally scheduled to begin autonomous journeys last year, but plans were shelved due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Everyone's plans were shelved due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks, China. <laughs> uh, I'll show you the comparison in a second. But yes, when the Yara Birkeland, Birkeland does eventually begin autonomous cargo shipments in Norway, it will be charged at the, at the, the quayside before visiting, uh, where are we? Before visiting harbors along the European coast and back, right? So yeah, it's gonna be charged with a big cable, just like your Tesla car will be, right? Uh, this guy believes that the electric cargo ship will replace 40,000 truck journeys a year. Now that's obviously an amazing statistic, right? Anything that replaces 40,000 truck journeys a year is incredible. The amount of diesel, and greenhouse gases that we're now saving because of 40,000 less vehicles on the, on, the, on the earth is great. But going back to the comparison, <coughs> uh, this one has uh, 60, 60 40 foot shipping containers. Right, well, the ever given in comparison, comparatively speaking, right, the ever given can carry 20,000 containers while so-called very large container ships can carry a maximum of just 9,000. So that's just a quick little, uh, you know, comparison. It doesn't quite make sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? 60. How would it be 60? There's more than 60 in that photo. I don't know. Where, where does it say that? Your guess is as good as mine. But anyway, we're just talking about this situation, doing a live video every single day. There we go. Just like the sign says. Guys, if you like the video, every single day on channel two and every now and then on channel one. All right, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Tallboy Gareth. I love you guys and you know, I'm making daily videos, guys. Let's have fun together. Bye-bye, see ya.